Hey there, crazy kids. I am the good old gamer. We're back to playing more Hardcraft Mine... Hard... Hardcraft... Hardcraft Minecore. Yeah, that's it. Hardcraft Minecore. I am so stupid. This is Hardcore Minecraft. Evening of day 19. Hopefully going on into... Whoa! Goodbye! Hopefully going on into uh, day 20 if I don't die. Oh yeah, two can play that game. Ha ha! I am victorious. And I only got one arrow back for all those arrows I shot. Isn't that so lame? Anyways, we are out exploring in the desert, trying to avoid enemies, exciting combat, right from the start. This is hardcore Minecraft for you. Ah! Hardcore Minecraft with lag. That's always fun. All right, so well, we're out and about here. I uh, wanted to address a question that I received in the comments to the last video, and I get this question a lot. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but every now and then, um, people notice that I have quite a few videos on my channel. I have way over two thousand videos at this point. And um, I don't get a whole lot of views per video. Anywhere between, oh, I'd say 30 and 100 views on average between certain videos. And really only when I uh, do certain games do I get a lot of views. More so than, say, like 30 or 50. But... Um, The question is, how come I keep making videos when I don't get so many views per video when I only get like a, you know, 30, 30 views per video or 50 or whatever? And the answer to that is because I don't make videos on YouTube for the views. I don't get paid for this. It'd be nice if I got paid for this. It'd be nice if I made a living off this so I wouldn't have to have a crappy regular job. I don't particularly care for, but I don't get paid for this. This is a hobby. For me, this is all fun and games. I, uh, I've i been on YouTube long enough to know that no matter what I put up on YouTube, somebody's going to watch it somewhere and enjoy it. So I'm not too worried about having a lot of views. I uh, just put the videos up. I have fun doing it. And um, whoever watches it can watch it and get something out of it. And anybody who doesn't like it, doesn't have to watch. And that's how I roll. For me, this is basically just a hobby. This is just a way for me to kill time. I mean, even if I wasn't uh, recording these and making videos, I'd still be playing these games. So... I figure I might as well make some videos and share it with you guys. Because there are those of you who are more than willing to watch, and that's awesome. Oh, and there's a village right over here. Which I almost missed. Lovely. This may very well be our new home if the zombies haven't killed everybody by now on in here. Oh, there ought to be an iron golem in here. This place is big enough. Although, here's a door down. Get inside, people! Die! Okay. We got this. 
We got this. Defend the village. No. Zombie. You get back here now. Whoa, lag. Ah, I can't do this game. You may be seeing the death of me. This is what I get for helping out villagers. I hope there are some left by morning. Assuming we get to live through to the morning. It'd help if it wasn't stupid raining out. That's the worst part when it comes to lag. Um, get rid of that for now. Put that down there. Take that back. Alright, so, putting down the torches to help with the already placed torches to get light going, because for some reason the pre-generated torches don't do their do job. I don't know where you think you're going, zombie. I think... Oh, come on! Stop! Stop it! Leave the villagers alone! They do nothing to you! Seriously! Ah. This is the worst part about village. I don't know if being in a village is all that bright of idea if every one of these doors is going to get knocked down every night. Eh, it's going to get kind of old. At least some of the villagers have survived. Waha! I'm pretty decent with the bow, that's nice. Well then, welcome to day 20. We have ourselves a village, and we managed to save some of the villagers. Some of them. Enough that there... I'm surprised there isn't an iron golem around somewhere. Anyway, the villagers that died off, they should be 
their home should be starting to re get repopulated um, because there's more than enough villagers here to start having babies. I will have to go around and put in more doors. Let's see if this guy over here, the blacksmith, left, left us anything. Got some iron, some bread. Ooh, iron leggings. Nice. What do we have? Leather pants. I think I'll save the iron leggings in there for now. Check those out later after we get done with our iron leggings. But this is going to be our village. We finally found one. Yay! The only thing is, like I said, um, it's going to get really annoying to have to uh, chase down the um, zombies every night. Because they keep breaking down the doors. And that's never a good thing. Um, where do I want to live around here, though, is the question. I suppose I'll go live in the tower again. Like we did with Georgie Boy's tower. We'll live up top because that'll be out of everybody's way. Everybody else can have their own little home here and uh, won't be bothered by anybody. I think our first, our first project will have to be a wall around the village. Um, that way we can minimize the... Uh, we can minimize the uh, zombie threat, put up a wall, and then light up the area inside, and we've basically um, brought that nuisance down to nothing, which would be handy. But that'll probably take a few days of, of a project to actually get done, so we may be fighting off zombies every now and then. Or, I guess another thing I could do is um, see if I can... Uh, craft a bit. Oh yeah, I got plenty of string. I can craft another bread. And now, that, now that we're here in the village, uh, I can sleep every night and cut down on the effort of keeping up with the zombies that way too. But um, let's move up in here to the uh, tower because I don't think we'll be bothering anybody up here on the second floor as we didn't bother anybody last time. Um... Let's put some stuff down. Let's put down a workbench and... Do we not have a furnace? Am I not? Apparently I didn't get a furnace. So oh, yeah, I did. There it is. Well, I'm blind. Let's get down one of these. Bad boys. I don't really probably need the furnace with the uh, blacksmith shop around here in town, but whatever. Um... Going to need a chest for sure. Because we got a lot of junk. Junk in the old trunk, as it were. Uh, where am I putting this bad boy? I guess it don't matter. I'll put it right there for now. Actually, I'm going to need that string here in a minute. I better keep that too. Shouldn't need that for now or that. Cobbles. Ah. Uh. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below what you would like the wall around the uh, village to be made out of. It could be made out of cobblestone. It could be made out of, um, like, sandstone. Sandstone might be a nice choice. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think the wall should be made out of.
Wow, I got a lot of torches. Put that up. Put that hat up for now. Let's make ourselves a bed. So I know I said I wasn't going to be using a bed, but now that we're in the village, I think it might be a decent idea. Just so we can get to work on projects and the nighttime won't be such a hassle. I don't know how much I'll use it. I don't know if I'll use it on a regular basis or if just till we get this wall go done or something. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, but... Um, I did that just in case the torch light there wasn't working. Um, I think we should be pretty good to go for now. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you would like the wall to be uh, made out of sandstone or cobblestone or any other material for that matter. Um, and we'll see what we do from there as far as that goes. Um, So yeah, getting back to that question during the all the fighting and stuff, um, this is all a hobby to me, so I'm not concerned with views at all. I'm not. I'm not concerned with any of the usual, you know, YouTube concerns. Uh, I'm just put the videos up to watch because I think it's fun, and I'm sh I'm been on YouTube long enough to know that uh, somebody's gonna get something out of it somewhere, and that's good enough for me. You can't you can't start on YouTube for sure expecting to get a lot of views, expecting to get really popular and stuff like that. If you if it happens that after a while you get popular, that's great. But um, you got to do it for reasons other than that. Otherwise, you're not going to be on YouTube very long making videos. It's just plain simple. Um, you got to do it because it's fun. You got to do it because of some other interest. What was that? Was that the cactus? Did I accidentally hit the cactus? I must have. Hmm. So, yeah, well, we found ourselves a village. I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow to actually do a whole lot with it. Because um, I got quite a bit of my excitement in for the day with the, uh, with the fighting during the middle of the night. Once we get the uh, protective wall up around the village, we can then uh, go about uh, cleaning up the village. Because this, as with pretty much any of the other villages, um, as far as that's concerned, the, uh, the setup, the spawning of the village wasn't the best, as you can see in here. This right here, yeah. It's not the best. I'll have to dig out this layer of gravel at least. Although this way the village, the zombies at least can't get in there. So that's a bonus. Day 20 is coming to a close and so I think I will close out this video as well. And uh, I'll let you guys put in your input about what the protective wall should look like. Hi! I'll have to come up with a name for you later. It's another thing. If you guys want to have any names for the villagers, feel free to give suggestions for that. Um, yeah, it's nighttime, so we'll go to sleep. And that'll be it for this video. So thanks for watching, boys and girls. I am the Good Old Gamer. This has been more hardcore Minecraft. 
Started off the video with crazy fighting, and in the video here in the village, gotten settled down in our new home. And this one's an actual full-on village, so we'll be able to do a bunch of stuff. Starting with the protective wall. Um, you guys know what to do. Give me protective wall suggestions, as well as names for villagers if you want to. Anyways, stay tuned for that. Bye-bye for now.